Okay, we're back to part two. Okay, here we go. So the, we're going to take this paint here. And you don't need very much of it on your... I'm using a um, makeup sponge, which we've all done this before. But really working with not too much paint on your sponge is the best way to go. Okay? And you just do it in bits and pieces. You don't want it evenly at all. You just want bits and pieces. Okay? And you want to stick with the colors. Whatever the three colors that you used... Um, in your background to begin with you want to stick with those same colors when you um, when you're creating your background because like Dan really says your background is in the background right so why would you put the blue over this do you know what I'm saying you want this to look like your background okay and if you're using the same colors all this will be in the background Okay, this looks really cool. Now you've asked, can you put do sprays through this? Yes, and we're gonna do sprays through this in a second. Um, let's do these hearts. And I will use another sponge for the orange. You can even do the orange on top of the orange and that will, it'll have a subtle effect. Like I'll do the orange on top of orange. That looks really cool too. And you won't be able to see it a lot. You'll just see a subtle chain, a subtle, a subtle of it. See how you see it just real subtle. And I love her style because you don't even want to think about it. You want to move quickly. You don't want to think about it a whole lot. You want to move, 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 go, go, go. And um, it comes out cool. It really does. Okay, we're going to do one more time with the paint, and then we're going to do some sprays through here. Okay. And you just want to do layer over layer over layer over layer. Does it matter that you hit some spots that you already hit? Nope. And the less thinking and the less and the more haphazard you are about it, the cooler it turns out. Like when you're not too careful about it. That's why I find her work and her techniques just really relaxing because um, you're just moving. There's no there's no thinking about it. And in the end, it always comes out cool. Okay, so I'm going to stop with these paints. Oh, and before I do that, remember, you're supposed to spray the lid, which I'll do in front of you right now. Spray the lid, one little spray, and then that little bit of water will replace, and she says that one little spray of water replaces the water that you've lost with your paint open like this. So, one little, we'll do one more spray because that spray wasn't very good, okay? And that replaces the little bit of water that um, evaporated out. So, I'll keep you guys uh, advised about that as I keep using these. Okay, now, let's take this stencil. And now we're going to use the sprays on top of, on top of this. Okay, so we have this... Uh, purple color. Okay. Look how cool this looks. Oh my God. I love it. I love this stencil. You guys, is this stencil everything? Now you take this stencil here and see all that on there. Don't waste it. Take it, put it on here. She calls this a kitchen roll. This is a paper towel roll here in America and go like this onto something else, a tag, um, a, a junk, uh, a journal, not a junk journal, a journal. And see, I'm going to be keep doing it to this this uh, tag, this um, other pocket folder I have over here on the side. Okay, let's do some keys, and we'll use the sunshine. I'm going to use my my uh, handmade sunshine that I made. 
Okay. Okay. And then take that. Let's open this up. Let's go like that. And you guys check out Diane Reevely. Put her uh, put Diane Reevely in, put Dilusions in, and you'll get um, her with a bunch of her videos. And um, you'll see a bunch of techniques, just cool stuff that you can add into your own mixed media, even if you're not doing it like hers. But just it's just cool. You guys have to check it out. Um, oh, I want to do numbers. And let's use the funky fuchsia or the bubblegum. Okay, with these numbers. Okay. There we go. Look how cool this is looking. I love it. Okay, and again, we're going to put that here. Make sure I'm in frame. Yep. Isn't this fun, you guys? You could do a whole diary, a whole journal with just Diane Reevely stuff. How fun would that be? I have, I, I should show my, um, my journal, my Dan Reevely journal. And it's actually not her journal. It's a journal that I made up myself, but I just used all these techniques in it. I should show that. Okay. So I think we have, well, actually I want to use this one. It's not one cool. Okay, that looks cool. A little bubblegum pink right here won't be good. Yeah, that's looking, that looks really, really good. Okay. Doesn't that look so cool, you guys? Okay, so we're going to let that dry for a minute. We're going to work on the inside. Now I'm going to show you something on the inside using all sprays, not using any of the paints. This is really fun, too. Uh, okay, here we go. First thing you have to do is spray with water. So you start with it wet, nice and wet. Okay. And big puddles of paint. And she always says use three colors, and I agree. And then she always has said use cool colors with cool colors, warm colors with warm colors. And I've never even thought about that because I don't make mud very often. But, you know, I just, it's like when you get dressed in the morning. You know what colors go together, right? You wouldn't wear red and brown. You wouldn't wear red and green, you know? Do colors that go together. And I think when you think about it, you're like, oh, yeah, that wouldn't make sense. So then why would you do that in your art, you know? So. But if it makes sense for you to do cool with cool and warm with warm. Do that. Okay, so you have all this paint on here. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Just make sure everything meshes together well. Okay. And I'm going to take the inside of this and put that on here. And that's really going to cover this nice. So now we're going to have a real nice covered surface with a bunch of stenciling already done on it when we get to this, which is cool. Okay. Let you guys see that. Check that out. Look how cool that looks. Doesn't that look cool? Alright, I gotta place this on my floor. Oh, not on that side. This second, guys. Alright. And then we can put a tag on here and get the rest of this off. And then, you know what? We're going to do it. We're just going to go like this. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Okay, now there's another thing called ghosting, and that's what we're going to do next. It gives you another layer that you can't do with the paint. And just a second, let me wipe some of this off of my mat. That's why you need this this type of mat too to work on because you can it just wipes off. This, like I said, it's the shelf liner at Dollar Tree, and you can just wipe off on it. But use this only for when you do this type of spraying. And if you're going to use do other stuff, don't use this because if it gets wet, the water um, it it reactivates with water. So if you're using it and you don't want something to reactivate on whatever you're working on as far as your next art project, change this out with another one. So, okay. So what we're going to do is let me show you what, um, what this next technique is. I just said the name. Um, so you're going to spray water, right? Just plain water. See right over the stencil ghosting is what it's called. And I hope you guys are going to be able to see, see it. Now you could take this whole thing here and place that on top of something else. I don't have something else to play. Oh yeah, I do. Well, actually, I'm going to place this on the other side. So you can go like that. You, or you can put this in a journal. So go like this. And now see the ghosting that came up? Isn't that so cool, you guys? And you can take this to the other side. And you're going to get like a reverse image. And you're going to get ghosting in here, too. Look how cool that looks, you guys. Is that awesome? Okay, I'm going to look in the camera and see if you guys can see all this. So hopefully you guys are seeing this. Because this is a really, really cool technique. Yeah, you guys are seeing it. Look how cool that is. That's ghosting. Okay. So. Get rid of some of my roll here. Now, now at this point, we need to dry. So. Just a second, people, while I turn on the dryer. Oh, the other thing I want to show you is the hinge inside of there. Um, you can take um, your baby wet you have left over and just go like this and get the insides of the of the hinge. Okay, I'm not gonna do it right now, but you can, that's what we can do um, it, for the inside of the hinge. I just thought about that. And you can mix a few different colors in there, or just do the one color or one color on one side and one color on the other side. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start taking. Um, stencils and sprays and start going okay okay and trying to keep with my three colors here okay and then let me get another file folder because we need something to oh I have another file folder right here that we can start placing on here. So see, I'm starting a whole nother file folder right there. Well, it's actually, it's, I've already made into a uh, pocket folder. Okay. Look at this one with flowers. Isn't that pretty? You can also take this right here and go on the opposite way on the other side or anywhere 
on the whole thing and it'll leave another impression like that see you can do that too and if anything messes up or looks weird don't worry about it um, there we go there we go the big thing is don't think about it just learn the different steps learn the process and then just go and if you like this process you guys write it down and then you'll you'll have the steps as we're going along just get a pencil paper out and write down the steps that's what I did when I first learned her techniques I wrote the steps down I mean I, I've done it so many times now I don't have to but and you will too I mean it's not a big deal it's just the same steps over and over okay I love that the stencil right here it's such a cool stencil and you just want to do it in little spots how I'm doing it right now okay And if your person doesn't like to get messy, I guess wear gloves. And that'll probably keep from getting messy. But, I don't know. If you like this type of art, you probably don't care. Like me. Oh, and it's watercolor, you guys. It'll come right off your hands. I love this stamp, or this uh, stencil right here. Such a cool stencil. So cool. Okay. Another uh, technique you can do to give more, um, just to give more background uh, texture, is you could take stamps, um, her background stamps, and I have a lot of background stamps, using the same colors, like a purple, a bubblegum pink, and a sunshine color in the um, stamping ink, and you can stamp and make more um, textures like that too. Um, I'm not choosing to do that, but you can do that too. All right, I'm going to do one more thing, these numbers, and then we'll be done with this part. Okay. And then you get to the point where you get to the point where you've done a, enough. You can just tell, like, you can't add any more to it. And that's where you stop at. That's how I feel. Look how cool that's looking. And that's my my next uh, my next uh, pocket folder that I'll be making. So I already have two pocket folders already started. One on the ground and then one right here. How cool. Okay. So now you want to let this dry this just for a minute. Let me check out the time situation too. dry for a second. Kind of organizing myself here. Okay. Good enough. It doesn't have to be completely dry. So, okay. Just dry enough. Just dry to the touch. Okay. So now we've worked on the inside. We've worked on the outside. Okay. So we're going to go to the front here. Oh, you know what? Let's work it like, let's work it like this, the way we've been working it. Um, Actually, no, I don't want to do that. Let's work on the front here. <laughs> you guys are like, Angela, what are you doing? I don't know. All right, this is going to be um, masking. And when I do it, you guys can be like, Angela, what are you doing? You're covering up everything. But it's awesome, so don't worry. We're going to mask right there first. So you're going to take some black acrylic paint. Okay. And a makeup wedge. Dollar Tree. You see the time situation? Okay. 
I'll start this and then we got to get to the next video uh, to the third part okay so what you want to do is you want to go around and I know you guys are freaking out but but you've already seen it you've already seen how I showed you how it turns out so it's all good um, this high heel shoe okay this is not a Diane Reevely mask I'm gonna use some Diane Reevely mask she doesn't sell this one um, you just hold on to this oh shoot I was just saying you hold on to the mask and then I let it go it's okay though it's okay there we go um, how I got this mask is I have a brother scan and cut and I took a piece of clear plastic and I cut this out of my brother's scan and cut. Cool, huh? You can make your own mask, especially if you have a brother's scan and cut or something like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do only a little bit of the shoe right here. And just kind of stay real close to the shoe. You just want to kind of outline the shoe. Don't go too far from the shoe. Okay, and yeah, is it messy? Yep, it sure is. And then I'm gonna go like, go like this on here. We'll do it like that. You can fill all that in right there. And then whatever spots are left that are not in the design is where you um, is where you go ahead and fill in. If it's not inside the shape of the shoe. All right. And you just keep going and I'm going to do another little part of the shoe right here. Okay. And then let me grab a piece of paper towel. And I wouldn't use a baby wipe, use a dry paper towel and it's a wipe right off. Otherwise, if you, what happens when you use a baby wipe? It smears, which smearing is a good technique. It makes smog, it makes smoke. So smearing with a baby wipe is a good technique, but not when you want to get something off something. So you can do that very quickly with a dry paper towel. Okay, let's go back. So then we have this here. So then we want to go back in and fill in everything. I'm going to open my thing up, okay? Then we want to go in here and fill in every area that's not inside the shoe, right? So don't go inside the shoe. Okay. And it sounds a little bit confusing, or maybe even looks a tiny bit confusing, but once you do it, you'll be like, oh, okay. And once you're doing it, you get it. You get it, you get it, you get it. Okay. I'm sure we're getting close on time. Yeah, we are. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to part three. See you in a minute.